What we want to say in this film is important and startling. This is information that has never been communicated before. In order to get the message across, we need to first go over some facts. So here we go. All cycle helmets have to be CE marked to be sold in Europe. CE marking means that a helmet complies with the requirements of the EU Directive on Personal Protective Equipment and has undergone a great number of tests that measure their protective capacity. The criteria laid down for cycle helmets are based on the design and function of traditional helmets so that they can be manufactured with a material thickness acceptable to consumers. The safety level has been defined in the hope of encouraging more people to wear cycle helmets. A traditional cycle helmet is of course better than no cycle helmet at all. During CE marking, the helmets undergo an impact test where the ability to protect the head is measured by their shock absorbing ability. The helmets, mounted on a dummy head, are dropped from one and a half meters straight onto an anvil, which they impact at 20 kilometers per hour. The acceleration, or g-force, is measured on impact and the force to the head must not exceed the limit value of 250 g. The tolerated maximum value is alarmingly high and is clearly above the level of force that will cause injury. This means that helmets that meet the current statutory requirement of 250 g may still result in serious or even fatal head injuries in a cycle accident. Since 2011, there has been a new cycle helmet on the market called Hövding. It's so radically different that it turns assumptions of what a cycle helmet means upside down. An airbag for cyclists. Hövding consists of a collar that you wear around your neck. Inside the collar is a folded airbag and sensors that register how you are moving 200 times a second when it's turned on. In the event of an accident, the sensors register the abnormal movement pattern of the cyclist's body and make the decision to inflate the airbag. It takes a tenth of a second to inflate and the airbag will be fully inflated before head impact. The airbag protects a much larger proportion of the head, neck, throat and face than traditional cycle helmets do. In 2012, the Swedish insurance company Folksam tested 13 cycle helmets on the Swedish market. They carried out an impact test on the same principles as for CE marking, but with a higher impact speed, 25 km per hour instead of 20. All the traditional helmets achieved around 250 g. More precisely, they ranged from 196 to 294 g. The lower the value, the better the helmet's ability to protect the cyclist's head in an accident. Hövding, on the other hand, was in a league of its own compared with all the other helmets. 65G. The airbag absorbs the head's impact so gently that the protective capacity is more than three times better than the best traditional cycle helmet. The level of protection offered by a helmet can also be measured using the head injury criterion, HIC. HIC takes into account not only the g-force that the head has been exposed to, but also the length of time that the head has been exposed to a particular g-force. Just like comparing g-forces with HIC, the lower the value, the better the helmet's ability to reduce the risk of head injury. The HIC values for the conventional helmets in the Folksam test were between 1637 and 2911, with an average value of 2,095. Hövding scored 370. So, what does the fact that Hövding has values so very much lower than all the other cycle helmets mean for me as a cyclist? Well, if Hövding had been invented before traditional cycle helmets and the criteria had been set on the basis of the level of protection provided by Hövding instead, all the other cycle helmets would have failed. Take a look at this. AIS, the abbreviated injury scale, was created to classify and describe the severity of injuries caused by road accidents. The degree of severity in AIS is shown on a scale of 0 to 6. In this diagram, the blue line illustrates the likelihood of suffering an AIS 2, 
moderate injury. The white line shows the likelihood of an AIS-4, severe injury, and the black line shows the likelihood of suffering an AIS-6, a fatal injury. Now, let's store the average HIC value for traditional cycle helmets and the HIC value for Hövding from Folksam's impact test on the diagram 2095 versus 370. The test illustrated a cycle accident with a head impact at 25 km per hour. With a traditional cycle helmet in this type of accident, the probability of a severe head injury is about 90% and with Hövding it is less than 2%. The risk of a fatal injury with a traditional cycle helmet is over 30%. And with Hövding, almost non-existent. Hövding turns assumptions of what a safe cycle helmet should look like and how it should work upside down. We've known this for a while. Now, so do you.